Tomorrow is the day of retribution. Elliot Rogers' intention to seek revenge upon a world he felt had slighted him couldn't have been clearer. Shortly after making this video, he went on the rampage in Isla Vista, California, killing six people and injuring 13 more before shooting himself. Long troubled, he'd been receiving psychiatric treatment. But in his first interview, his British father, Peter Roger, who's a filmmaker, has said he had no idea his son was capable of such an act. There's no way I thought that this boy could even, could hurt a flea. I mean, this is, this is the most unbelievable thing, Barbara. What I don't get is we didn't see this coming at all. For his father, it's impossible to reconcile his idea of who his son was with what happened that day. Every night I go to sleep, I wake up, and I think of those young men and young women that have died and they were injured and were terrorized. And my son did that. My son caused so much pain and suffering for so many families. When you wake up in the morning, what do you think? It's like a, re a reverse nightmare situation. When you go to sleep normally, you have a nightmare and you wake up and, oh, everything's okay. Yeah. Now I go to sleep, I might have a nice dream. And then I wake up and then slowly the truth of what happened dawns on me and, you know, that is that my, my son was a mass murderer. Mr Roger now says that he wants to campaign for a better understanding of mental illness. And while the world sympathises with the families of Elliot's victims, Peter Roger has also lost a son and will have to live with the burden of what he did for the rest of his life. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.